Good Friday evening, everybody, live and direct from House Onik Backyard. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the Friday evening edition of News Channel 3's live and on the air, uh, at least live on online anyway, weather overtime. This is from House Onik Backyard. This is our exclusive video weather blog. If you've never seen this before, your opportunity to catch up with what's going on where weather is concerned and a good opportunity to get your forecast ready to go for the next couple of days. Pretty quiet weekend coming our way. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. We'll also see what's going to be going on through the weekend on the forecast and see if we have anything to worry about out there where it comes to severe weather. Should be pretty quiet out there. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. So stay tuned for more as we get you started on your weekend to see what's going on out there. Sorry about that. That coincidentally is what we're having for dinner tonight. If you'd like to check out the recipe, I'll post it later on my Facebook page. Let's see what's going on a little farther out of town. The view from the Mars rover from just about a couple of days ago, uh, showing a temperature of 27 degrees for a maximum and a low of 103 degrees below zero when it comes to the air temperature near where the Curiosity rover is located. Ground temperature of 54 minus 157 for the ground low temperature out there. If you'd like to see more about the remote environmental monitoring station, all you have to do is go here to mars.nasa.gov for more information. Earthquakes in the Mid-South, not really all that much to take a look at. We again have some pretty quiet conditions out across much of the area, so good news on that. So we're not seeing too much of anything out there where it comes to major amounts of problems, but did have managed to have a couple of very minor earthquakes showing up in parts of the Mid-South earlier in the last couple of days, but currently not seeing much of anything right now uh, in and around the New Madrid Falls. So good news on that as we go into the weekend. So if you have any plans for earthquake monitoring, this is a good place to go to. That's the University of Memphis Center for Earthquake Research and Information. Take a look around the area where it comes to traffic. We do have, again, some areas of backups taking place, some pretty huge backups backups around I-55 bridge earlier this afternoon and not much of anything going on throughout much of the rest of the area after that mostly cleared up for now but there's always going to be those backups out there screen reset taking place from TDOT this is their smart way camera system uh, organized by the Vanderbilt vector page if you'd like to see more about what's going on out there and as of right now again looks like the usual Friday night backups taking place so not seeing, again, anything in the way of uh, major problems out there. But keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on what may be going on throughout much of the Mid-South area. A couple of things to tell you about in just a little bit. Well, first of all, take a look at some cameras out there. Looking again at the area around Heidelberg Elementary after school gets out. Looking at blue skies across the Mid-South. Pretty quiet out there. Downtown Memphis, gorgeous view of the Mississippi River. No big problems being seen here. So very quiet across the downtown area. Power Center Academy. Almost empty parking lot as the teachers and students head home for the weekend. And as we get into around the area of Germantown, also a lot of sunshine just to the north of Germantown High School on the City Hall camera from Windyke Country Club. A few golfers out and about this afternoon. Everybody hitting the links and looking like a great day for some golf. And around St. Francis in Cordova, traffic is on the heavy side as people start to head their way home at just about 5.30 on Friday evening. Rest of the area, again, showing Ole Miss. Few cars out on the campus as people wrap up the weekend uh, around Oxford, Mississippi for this evening. And Dickie Stevens Park in Little Rock looking at some quiet conditions there are more of our webcams available at wreg.com slash webcams. Don't really have anything major taking place for right now. Again, where storm systems are concerned, we do again see the possibility of our new storm system back out to the west of us into around portions of the area of the Pacific. That's going to be slamming its way into the west coast states, and as it does, that's where we may see the potential of some stronger storms coming up as we go into next week. It doesn't look like much immediately, but once again, these things bear watching as we go throughout the next several days. So what exactly are we looking at? Well, over the next couple of days from the one and a half to three day forecast, numbers again out west will be showing the possibility of showers, thunderstorms, and a lot of snow coming on through. And that again could be a bit of a problem for travel back toward the west coast on top of all the problems that the airlines are having having right now. This could be, again, something to take a look at if you are traveling west of, say, Denver in the next couple of days. Through Sunday morning, that, again, the main energy of that system lifts back to the north of us and takes a lot of the energy with it. But as it gets closer to us on Monday, especially Monday night, 
That's where we start to see, again, the possibility of these thunderstorms making their way into the Mid-South. So this is where we could wind up with some more severe weather, maybe. Not a guarantee just yet, but that's something that we will be watching uh, over the course of the next couple of days. So definitely want to stay tuned to News Channel 3 as we keep you advised on that throughout the rest of the weekend. Again, a couple things to let you know about for this evening. One is a frost advisory in the Mid-South area in a light-shaded blue category, Jackson, east of Dyersburg, down to around Corinth, Ripley, Mississippi, you are going to be seeing, again, the possibility of patchy frost in and around the Mid-South. The purple-shaded counties over toward the Tennessee River, that's where we see, again, the potential of maybe some more heavy frost as areas around the Tennessee River and those low valleys start to pick up the possibility of more frost out there. So if you have any plants you want to protect, cover them up or bring them inside if you can, and that is going to be something you're going to need to be taken care of uh, before it gets too late later on tonight to make sure you've got everything cl cleared up and whatnot for tonight. Now, I also want to tell people along the river about this. We have the Mississippi River on its way upward. It's going to be heading very close to what's called action stage, around 28 feet. That's not flood stage. That's got to go up to 34 feet for that. But areas along the river, agricultural bottomlands, things like that, could be seeing the possibility of some minor flooding taking place in and around Tennessee and back into parts of Arkansas and eventually Mississippi. Now, again, it crests as we go into next weekend toward next week, so we could see some minor flooding problems in and around the area there. We'll be watching that throughout the rest of the weekend. Currently not seeing anything heading our way, hardly any cloud cover really to speak of across much of the Mid-South, so good news on that. Into tonight, we'll be looking at temperatures back into around the Lower 30s in the dark blue shaded category. Light blue metro area, Arkansas, Boot Hill, northwest Mississippi. Temperatures will be back into around the lower to mid 40s, so not quite as chilly uh, in those locations. Now getting into tomorrow, Saturday, high temperatures, beautiful. Lots of sunshine, temperatures back in the lower 70s. We will see a little bit more in the way of breezy winds. Winds turn from the northwest tonight, turning around back to the south. That is where we get some fairly breezy numbers out there into around the overnight hours, and that is going to continue right on into tomorrow, and for that matter, into tomorrow night. Not quite as cold on Saturday night, Sunday morning, back into around the mid to upper 40s to around the lower to mid 50s for low temperatures, but those winds will continue overnight, 10 to 15 miles per hour, right on into around Sunday, and max temperatures on Sunday will be very much on the warm side. Those warm southerly breezes coming up. Temperatures will be around 80 degrees and the winds will continue out of the south. These are just the winds. If you add in how much gustier they're going to be, we could see some wind gusts nearly around 30 miles per hour on Sunday and most of that should be in and around eastern Arkansas right into the Mississippi Valley. So expect maybe some chop on the roadways. That could be just a bit of a problem. And as we go toward about Sunday night, low temperatures again, not that low, mid to upper 50s to lower 60s. And as we get into Monday, temperatures will once again be back into the mid to upper 70s or so across much of the area. So very much on the nice side through the weekend, but chances of rain and thunder on the way back toward the time we hit into around next week. Don't forget about my Facebook page, facebook.com slash WREG. And if you'd like to know more about what's going on on Twitter, twitter.com slash aonic underscore WREG3. We're going to be trying out something new in the next couple of days. We're going to be talking about a lot more about astronomy and science on my sky blog blog I mean, need to think about a new title for that new video blog coming up involving astronomy and science and don't forget at this point in time let me get uh see if i can get this taken care of here real quick uh memphis international let me see if i got it here well anyway uh astronomy here in memphis if you want to check it out it is going to be tonight at christian brothers at the uh, Assisi Science Hall, the Memphis Astronomical Society will be holding their monthly meeting, free science hall. I believe it's 151 in Assisi Hall tonight at 8 o'clock in central Memphis if you'd like to know more about what's going on with the current state of astronomy out there, including a couple of neat lectures, one of which is going to be why we should not be going to Mars. So something you might want to check out there if you want to see a little bit more about what's going on with Memphis Astronomical Society. I urge you uh, to check that 
that out. Good opportunity to learn more. Totally free. Again, that's tonight, 8 p.m., Christian Brothers University, Memphis Astronomical Society, also available on Facebook if you'd like to see more about what's going on there. So good news on that. We'll keep an eye on the weather for the rest of the weekend. I'll be on throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3. You can check out more of the forecast up here at wreg.com slash weather, and we'll have more information again on air throughout the weekend. Uh, the NCAA tournament is over with, so we should be back to normal on our schedule where it comes to regular broadcasts out there. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. And, of course, we'll have more again at wreg.com slash weather and on all of these social media network pages that you see up at the top of the screen. Live and direct from House Onik in Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your Into the Weekend forecast. Hope everybody has a good and safe one. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend, and we'll keep you advised. <laughs>